The college football national championship game has come and gone, but the signs and the banners remain. So what happens to it all? CBS4's Mike Sullivan explains how a local company is turning some of that waste into fashion. Life's biggest moments come and go, but what if a piece of it could live on forever? Just because something is used, the dirt on it is so embedded in it, it does not mean it's unusable. You have to use a heavy polisher. Here at People for Urban Progress. They reuse all the material and turn it into purses and wallets and things of the like. Their kaleidoscope of colors often comes from leftover signage from Indy's biggest events. Think the Indy 500, March Madness. It started yesterday with an email saying, hey, we have this material coming down from the college football championships, and are you guys interested in it? Pup executive director Teray Dabney surely was interested. The signage is a piece of history. Depending on the type of material depends on the kind of product that we would make. Hard vinyl can become one product, while mesh signage. We also turn them into bags, uh, pencil totes. Their work first began when the RCA dome came down. You know, originally it was because you loved the dome and you wanted to have a piece of it. Now they have March Madness bags, even merchandise from the fire suits of Indy 500 drivers. And like, hey, let's sell these in May. And so we did, we had a pop-up shop in May. This latest effort with the CFP is part of a larger $100,000 sustainability initiative from the Indy Host Committee. They are calling it the Green Project. We're excited to still, that the life of that banner can still live on. Still a fabric of Indy, cut for a cleaner future. On the near west side, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Mike. People for Urban Progress are still waiting to receive the materials from the national championship, by the way. Their other items are for sale on their website and at Silver in the City.